Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a Ninja Air Fryer buying guide. So on the left, I got the Ninja 10 Quart Double Stack. The next one is the Ninja Air Fryer Pro XL 6.5 Quart, model number AF181. Next, I got Ninja 4 Quart Air Fryer right here, model number AF101. And all the way on the right is the Ninja 5 Quart Air Fryer Pro, model number AF141. So out of all of these, I really do love the double stack. I get a lot of air fryer. I get two air fryers in the space that it takes one air fryer. The next thing I love about the double stack is it does come with this little, we can put proteins on this little tray right here. This little rack, we can put a rack in both of these, but we can put like protein and kind of chicken or chicken nuggets up here. And then we can put like broccoli and it's going to cook both of them at the same time. The heated air is going to come in from the back. Next thing I like about it, both of these, these are interchangeable baskets. So I can put this basket up here, this one down here. And the way it heats the food, there's a heating element and a fan in the back of each one. So I can cook each one at a separate temperature and a different time. So I got a nice control panel here. I can set one or two different times and temperature, air fry. I've got six different modes. On this one, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six modes also. Turn it on. I can put max crisp, 450, change the temperature, change the time, and hit start. It's got a great big crisper tray in here. I can take this out. Again, this is 6.5 quarts. Here we have a four quart. It's only got four functions. I turn it on, I can change the temperature and the time. It only goes up to 400 degrees. It's got a round uh, crisper basket here. Here's the five quart. Now, if I had to choose between these two, I would pick the five quart. I think it just looks a little bit nicer and I like this nice square design of the basket. Now these three all heat the air from the top. You're gonna have a heating element and a fan that's gonna blow the hot air down onto the food. And these three also, the hot air comes directly out the back. We're on the double stack. Your air comes out the side and the back. You can put this up next to the wall. This will keep it away from the wall. But this is the intake for the air fryer. On these three, it takes the air, comes into the air fryer up at the top. The double stack fits under a standard kitchen cabinet. It's only 15 inches tall. This one's right around 12 and a half. This one's almost 13 and a half. This one's about almost 10 and a half, almost 11. But where you really run into the savings is left to right. This one's about 10, where the double stack is about 11, but you get two five-quart air fryers for a total of 10. This one is almost 10, and it's four quarts. This one is 10, but it, I like that it's nice and small. It's not very tall, but it's about 10 and a half wide, too. Another thing I love about the double stack is... I can say I want to cook something that takes 20 minutes and 400 degrees in this basket, but then I want to cook something at 200 degrees and five minutes. If I want them both to finish at the same time, I can do this smart finish. When I select that and program my two different times, it's going to wait on this one until this one's almost done, and then it's going to start it, and both of them will finish at the same time. And then the match cook is say if I want to cook both baskets at the same time and temperature, I hit match cook and it'll cook them both at the same time and temperature. Now the double stack pro, that's when you want to put a protein and something on the bottom. You're going to select that and you're going to, you can change the time and the temperature and you can do double stack pro in both of them. Both of them have that tray that you can put in or that rack that you can put on the top of the protein. Okay, so I did buy all these air fryers with my own money. Let's do wattages. So this is 1750 watts. This is 1550 watts. This is 1750 watts. This is 1690 watts. Let's do price. The double stack's brand new. It's not on sale yet, $230. So when that thing goes on sale, it's gonna be an amazing air fryer. This one is 170, or no. Sorry about that. The six and a half quart is 130. This one's on the biggest sale, $79. Normally retails around $99. And this one is $90. So this is the one we use upstairs every day, but I'm going to be switching it out with this one. That gives us more capabilities and doesn't take up as much room. 
And again, I bought all these with my own money. I'll put links to all of them in the show description notes. If you end up purchasing the product, the product won't cost you anymore, but I do get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of helping support my channel. That way I can buy all of these with my own money and give you my honest review. All these are great air fryers. This one just seems a little old to me. You know, the round design, they've kind of gone away from that. I do like the more square design. These just... They're making things, you know, this is five quarts and it's a lot smaller than the four quart. But there's nothing wrong with that air fryer. Okay, let's go over exact dimensions. This one is about eight and a half. It is a square. And depth wise, you're about three and a half. This one is about three and a half and it's a circle, about eight and a quarter. Biggest one, eight and a half, eight and three quarters almost. And then depth, this is the deepest, four, almost four and a half. Now this one's times two, four inches by seven and a quarter by about eight and three quarters. But again, you get two of these. So if there was something you would like to see when I review these and compare these, uh, you, if you want me to cook in the air fryer, let me know in the show description notes. Be sure and check. I just got the brand new X40 Dream it's very expensive, but wow, does it do a good job. And she just decided to take a nap right beside me. She is a good girl. You a good girl? You're a good girl. So be sure and check out my videos on these brand new Roborock vacuum cleaners. I got the Roborock Q Revo Max V, and here's the Roborock S8 Max V. I've got comparisons set up videos these are really amazing robots and i'll be comparing them to the older ones i also sell my own coffee just to dad simple sip i sell it in the whole bean or ground bag and also in the k-cup form you can buy it at justadadcoffee.com be sure and check me out on instagram look for my logo right here uh, just a dad videos on instagram i do behind the scenes and free giveaways so when i'm done with these products i do give them away hit a follow on instagram and my facebook group page I'll put links to them in the show description notes. Again, here's the Narwhal uh, Dream L10S. There's the old Q Revo I'll be comparing it to. There's the old S8, you know, uh, Dream L20. That thing's big, but it does a good job. The Dream X30. I got the X40 coming. It should be here in a couple weeks. So X30 I do love, but super expensive. Roombas. I got uh, Tenecos I do reviews on. Shark just released two brand new Hydrovacs. These aren't it. These are the old ones, but I will be comparing them to the old ones. $1,200 Dyson. Roborock, that's one of their economical ones. Q5 does a great job. This is the game changer right here. The, the Dirt Devil. This is a $99 robot vacuum with LiDAR navigation and has an awesome app that maps your house and is easy to use. I just did a review on this one, $99 Walmart. <laughs> you just can't beat that price for LiDAR navigation. I also show you what Roombas, you know, these are starting to get kind of long in the tooth. Uh, the i5, I stay away from. Uh, the J7 is okay. This is the J9 Plus, but even these are starting, you know, there's just so much better technology. Same with over here on the Sharks. Um, again, I got almost every Shark vacuum they make, but they're just showing their age and there are better ones out there but there is a price point in the three to four hundred dollar range when you want to just vacuum carpet these are actually pretty good i also do carpet cleaner reviews and vacuum cleaner reviews so again i absolutely love what i do thank you so much so i i really thank you for helping me with my videos you know again really do appreciate everybody's support um, if you could please like and subscribe and use the links down below. I really would appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Be sure and check out my Instagram, Just a Dad Videos on Instagram. If you could, hit a follow there. Also, check out my Facebook group page, Just a Dad Videos group page on Facebook. I do free giveaways. Miss Fiona loves to take a nap on pillows and blankets, don't you? You're a good girl. You're a good girl. It's okay. You can go to sleep. She's down here while I'm doing my videos. So it looks like the cicadas are starting to come out. And if we look, we can start to see their, the shells they leave behind. Ooh, there's one hiding underneath there. I think they've got to kind of like come out of their shell and then I don't, I'm not sure exactly what they start doing. Pretty cool.